The TrekWorks YouTube channel is sponsored by Tenet Controls, makers of lighting kits, soundboards, and more. Tenet Controls brings your models to life. Hello again everybody. Well we're back again with you for the finish of uh, applying our paint job to this 1350 scale classic Enterprise model. Uh, our first video we showed laying down the basic hull color. Got that all taken care of, let it dry here really good. So then I went around the model since then and I've applied all the decals onto this, which are there's quite a few of them. And uh, I talked about how I was going to come back and explain how I get these all sealed up and how we apply our final uh, seal coat on the model and I have a couple little tricks here that I use for uh, getting these decals to lay down nice and flat so I'll just kind of explain uh, really quick before we put our seal coat down on this um, basically I just go ahead and apply the decals in the standard method you know using some water and get them down on there nice and straight and everything and make sure I like how they look and uh, once they dry uh, for maybe an hour or so I come back and I spray those down with this uh, testers decal bonder which you can buy in these little aerosol cans and you know you don't need to use very much of it and it just basically uh, you know I, I just fog over the area where the decals are and uh, that helps the decals settle down like especially on the top of the saucer there and on the bottom where we have those grid lines and we want to make sure the decals settle down in those little recessed areas and not have any air pockets trapped underneath but uh, everywhere we have decals in the model on the sides here and on the bottom of the saucer I just went ahead and did that after those dried for a good hour or so I came back with this uh, Automotive 2K Clear here. You can see this stuff right in the middle. This is the main ingredient and this is the activator. Uh, the reason I like to use this is that it's a really super high gloss clear and it's uh, quite a bit thicker than regular clear coat and it stays that way when you spray it on. So you have to mix the two together at about two or three to one and that activates the drying process, process on it and you have you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes of spraying time. So you want to spray right away as soon as you mix them together. And then I went over the entire model again and just fogged over the areas where the decals were only. You can kind of see the overspray pattern there. Um, and that sealed it down really nice and puts a really nice, um, you know, high strength, uh, really high gloss bond on that now. So the, the decals are on there permanently. But being that it's a little bit thicker, it also serves to uh, hide the edges of the decals so you don't see the edge, you know, where they or the film ends that you can sometimes see and it also takes care of any of that silvering that you might get so it's all been done every area you can kind of see where it trails off where I sprayed uh, that gloss and um, so that's been drying overnight uh, it usually dries in about 30 minutes but I let it dry overnight just for the heck of it and um, so now we're ready to come back and do our final process which is uh, applying our, our our final seal coat here which is this uh, Duplicolor uh, matte finish that I talked about that I like to use. It's uh, it's not totally glossy and it's not completely dull. It's kind of right in the middle, which is how I like the Enterprise to look. So we've loaded that into our gun. We followed the same steps we showed you last time. We used some paint strainers. Uh, you have to shake this stuff up pretty good because it kind of settles. It looks sort of milky, but it dries uh, perfectly clear. And it's ready to spray out of the can. You don't have to reduce it at all. So. Uh, it's loaded into the spray gun. I'm set at about 30 PSI on my pressure, which they recommend, and I'm ready to go. So we're going to set the camera back on the tripod here, get my uh, mask on, get the ventilation going, and we're going to spray the entire model down, and that'll be the final step. Once we finish that, the uh, model can be, uh, we've got a couple little detail pieces we got to put on, the bassards and uh, the deflector dish and a couple things, but uh, that'll be it for this. It'll be pretty much finished. Okay, onto the tripod we go, back again in a second with the final... Uh, paint work on this. See you in a second. All right, everyone. Well, I've got everything all set up. We've got our ventilation on. I've got my garage door open and I've got my res respirator ready to go here. So let's get, let's get our paint job finished up. Okay, here we go.
Okay everyone, well we've made it back out of the spray area and we're back on the bench now. It's been drying here for a little while, so we thought we'd give you a look at how it turned out. It worked just like we hoped. You can see, uh, just panning over the uh, top of the saucer here, you can see that we don't have any issues with our decals looking like decals anymore. It looks like it's been painted on. It's really smooth. You can't see the edges uh, where it says Enterprise and NCC 1701. Uh, same thing on the sides of the nacelles. And then, of course, you can really notice a difference down here in the bottom of the saucer. Uh, normally, you can see that a little bit of decal film there around that NCC 1701 number or these other little markings that are on here. But uh, we've got that completely sealed up. That extra thick automotive clear coat is what makes the difference because it uh, levels everything out and uh, hides those edges and everything down here on the bottom of the secondary hull with our pennant marking and all that. And uh, you can see that the level of gloss on this is right where we want it to be now too with that duplicolor. It's, uh, it's a medium. It's, it's not totally dull and it's not super glossy which I think looks pretty good on the classic Enterprise. So there you have it everybody. I'm just going to be working now to get the rest of this finished up. I just got a few little uh, detailed parts to put on it and it'll be ready to go. Probably show you guys a video of this model finished up. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little build series uh, or this little painting tip series. I'll be happy to answer any questions about it. If you guys have any, just drop a comment here on the video, and I'll do my best to answer it. Like I said, I realize not everybody has the uh, the space or you know the ability to spray with a with a gun like we were using here. They're limited as far as uh, you know you might live in an apartment or something like that. But if you do have the opportunity to get set up like that, I highly recommend this. Like I said, it gives you great results. Okay, so we're gonna call this one a wrap, everybody. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for watching the channel. We'll see you next time, and until we do, happy modeling, and take care, everybody.